Good videographers spend time planning their videos before beginning to film. A script can help you plan your video and avoid time-wasting digressions. A script can also help you select wording that will be readily understood by viewers. To be successful, you need to be aware of the differences between text meant to be spoken versus that meant to be read. Text in an essay or scientific paper can be lengthier and more complex because the reader can take in the information at their own pace and can also reread portions of it if necessary. Spoken information, on the other hand, should be prepared differently. In this video, I cover some important points you should keep in mind when preparing the script for your videos. The first thing I do when creating a video is to write out a tentative script. Writing a script helps me envision what material I need to present, what scenes I want to film, and how to organize it all. A script also helps me keep track of video length. When writing a script, I frequ frequently check the word count. If you know your speaking pace, you can then estimate how many words you can fit into a three-minute video. For example, I speak at about 150 words per minute. That means a three-minute video can accommodate about 450 words. You may not need that many words to convey your message, but the calculation gives you a maximum word count for your video. Here are a few tips for preparing a script for a video. In general, write like you talk. Don't cut and paste from an academic article or load your script with a lot of technical terms. Specifically, use shorter sentences than for documents meant to be read. Instead of a compound sentence like this one with multiple independent and dependent clauses, break these down into simpler constructions that are easier for the listener to digest. You can convey the same information in shorter bites along with appropriate visuals in a sequence that the listener can easily follow. Another strategy is to limit use of multisyllabic words. For example, instead of using the term approximately, say, the tree density was about half that found in previous surveys. In general, avoid jargon and use plain language. This sentence is full of jargon. The same information can be written in plain English and it's shorter by four words. If you must use a technical term, define it. Spell out symbols and acronyms. However, repeating a long-winded name such as structural equation modeling multiple times adds to the length of your video. In that case, spell out the acronym at the first mention, then you can use the acronym thereafter. Make your information sound less formal and friendlier by using contractions. Sprinkling a few contractions throughout your, your script will make your video sound less stuffy and will appeal to a wider audience. Use active voice wherever possible, which will enliven your material. Active voice means that the action of the subject is expressed in the verb. We collected, salinity reduced, hurricanes caused. In passive voice, the subject is acted upon. Soil samples were collected, plant growth was reduced. Active voice is more interesting and often uses fewer words. Use text titles to repeat what's being spoken, which clarifies technical terms and helps drive home the message. The speaker might be stating a series of facts. Adding text titles makes the information more memorable. For example, Mangroves dominate many tropical coastlines. They protect human communities from storms. They provide nursery grounds for many marine organisms. Another tip is to use verbal transitions between scenes. Once we had decided on our research approach, we next scouted for an appropriate study site. Or, now that we've covered the basics, let's consider a specific example. For interviews, script the questions but not the answers. You want to decide on interview questions ahead of time, but the answers should be spontaneous and unscripted. 
Finally, practice your script out loud before recording. It shouldn't sound like you are reading. Well, those are just a few ideas to help you write a script for a video. This is the Scientist Videographer. Thanks for watching.